Hello, welcome back to the Snake Pit. Here we are in our village. We just fought off um, uh, another raid last episode, so we're going to pick up. Remember to sub if you like the content. It hugely helps out the channel. Really want to push for growth this year. It costs you nothing, and you're all amazing for doing so. And I absolutely love the support I've been getting. And I do hope you're enjoying. So that wasn't too bad of a raid last episode because they weren't up till stupid o'clock in the morning so they shouldn't all be knackered. There is the final research. We shall get that. So we've now finished the research tree in the game. Are burning away. So, what are my final thoughts on going medieval as it is now in its early access form? Um, I definitely think it's got potential. They've definitely got a very awesome uh, groundwork set for the game's future. Um, obviously, you know, it, it is still early access, so I'm not going to be uh, too harsh on it because it's um, an early access title that actually seems to know the direction it wants to take and you know what its potential future could be um, obviously there's a lot of there is a lot of content because you know we've been doing this for what is now nearly uh, what 21 episodes now I think with this being the final one um, there definitely needs I think to be some more sort of direction with what does what and there definitely needs to be more events that happen um, because with this essentially being uh, medieval rim world in a sense I mean that is basically what it is um, what keeps rim world interesting is the amount of variation in events that can happen um, and Rimworld's systems are also 
obviously I'm talking, you know, I'm comparing an early, early access game to something that's been out for years at this point and has had a long time to refine its content. But they definitely need to improve the events in this game um, to make them, you know, more variety, uh, just all round different events so that there's things to keep the story going. As it is now, the events are all rather um, simplistic. You either get uh, a new settler turn up um, with the potential for a raid that can happen if you accept them, um, or they just turn up with no uh, caveats, they just turn up injured. Um, there's a raid. Um, and obviously the, the raids get more advanced as you go along which is expected but as you can see in the region map we've got 100% influence and we've had this for ages now um, so we kind of maxed out on our influence we've done the research tree so there is a, there is a lot the game offers for you to do but there doesn't seem to be many sort of the story elements that they in yet that Rimworld had to keep the interest going. Um, I obviously definitely in future as the game gets more updates we will come back to playing medieval, going medieval again. When it's more flushed, fleshed out. So the, the game has been updated as, as as we've been playing it and I've liked the update, it's shown progress. Although I'm still not entirely 100% sure about the corner merlons just being removed from the build menu and you manu manually having to set what they look like. Um, Uh, everyone's kind of idle right now because there's nothing for them to do. Gonna set them on a mining task, I suppose.
And as far as the combat goes, obviously it's basically the same as Run World, just in 3D. Um, but as has been witnessed with the constant beating back of the various different raids, um, ranged is massively overpowered. It trivialises even what's meant to be the difficult raids. Um, I know that Trebuchets recently got a nerf, um, but to be honest, they're, they're Trebuchets. There doesn't seem to be much consequence of them attacking, apart from a few inconsequential things being destroyed and your settlers having to spend a couple of days repairing things. So I'm not sure they've entirely got the combat balance there yet. storm in the middle of summer. I mean, fair enough. over and it, it did nothing. Some of these weather events I don't really understand the point of them. They just seem to be a thing that happens. Relocating piles. <laughs> Might want to change the name of that so it doesn't make people think they're relocating their hemorrhoids.
okay. Um, yes, we shall say goodbye to Snakeshire for now. I will return at a future date with a second series when the game has got a bit more meat to it and it's been updated a few times. I wish the game and the developers the very best, they've definitely got something good here. And I hope you've enjoyed the series and I shall be seeing you soon in something completely different. Until then, take care.